Get ready to match the stars. Jimmy Walker, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Tommy Stevens, from Vegas, Bart Braverman, and Deborah Lee Scott as we play the stars of the Big Money Match Game. And now, here's the star of Match Game, Gene Rivers! How do you do? Is everyone all right? Ready, set to go here? Say, you're alive. You, are you aware of the fact that Kay Henley, whom you all know, she's the yes, lady who's lovely. I don't speak to her. We don't like her anymore. We don't like her. We've gone she gave off. Me pretty no, we don't. Her I love Kay, Kay Henley. Henley's very popular Wonderful. lady. Calm down. Who I works on this Kay program Henley. and she's, she's the one who calls the celebrities <laughs> to say, can you Sick. do the show and all that. Anyway, her mother and father, Danny and Dell, live down here in San Juan Capistrano and they're big fans Where of this program. Come to? That's right. They live down there in the mobile estates and they've got a match game fan club with all of those people and they get together and watch every day and I just wanted to thank them for doing that because it's very thank, thank you, you. she's alive she's an orphan yeah <laughs> all right so come on down here this is philip horde our current winner let's find Horn's out mm -hmm. philip horde is a florida fisherman <laughs> this fella is a commercial fisherman who lives in tampa right uh, no sir it's below tampa about 100 miles <laughs> a little place named placida 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 is that anything like placenta oh, oh, oh it's it's <laughs> Placida. It's Placida. a Spanish word. Placida. Yes, it means calm. <laughs> Are the waters calm down there? Uh, unless there's a hurricane. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Are you the captain of your ship? That's right. It's 25 feet long, and uh, I'm just about able to take care of it. You do it alone? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. With a net? Right. It's about 800 yards long. And so... You throw a net out 800 yards long? Yeah, I run it out with my boat, and then take it back there. <laughs> Can I feel your muscles? Certainly. <laughs> What kind of fish do you want? He gets bonita, is that it? Uh, no, mullet. 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 Man said mullet three weeks ago. I remembered. Do you want to do the rest of the interview? No. Oh, all right. Now, here we go. You're going to have a go at the... Um, uh, oh, the super no. match. You've won the $250. means the least you'll play for is $2,500. But you're going to spin the wheel and see if you can double it to $5,000. So if you'll step up there, we'll all root for a double. And here we go. Philip Horde. You got these? I used to. Go. <laughs> Just slid past there. That's too bad, Charles. I think they're. I think they're trying to tell you something. That's the third time this week it's fallen well, off. Put it on. It was a staple gun. You people. No, wait. I'll glue it on. Look at the crappy way that's made. <laughs> There you are. Ship shape. Everything's ship shape, sir. The tie is still too broad. <laughs> oh, don't be careful. Oh, you <laughs> Wait a minute. Somebody out there said we love your pants. I know. I hear that all the time. <laughs> Here we go. You're playing with J.J. Walker, are you ready? I'm ready, I'm here. I'm available. Good luck to you, sir. Here it is. Please. This is worth $2,500. Okay. Blank report. Or blank report. Blank report. Okay. He's ready. Now, if you give us the answer that he has on the card, you get $2,500. What do you say to that? Good report. Good report. That's his answer. Let's turn around and find out what Jimmy has on that card. He says, good report, Jimmy. This man's a fisherman? Yes. And he gives that answer. Oh. This is the, this is the answer. Yes, no. One of my favorite groups also, weather report. Weather report. <laughs> weather report. Now, Philip, you have $250 and still game two to go. So let's bring your opponent back. Here comes Dana Manning for game number two. This is the final game. Oh, it's flat again. All right, same kind of stuff. You can't afford it. All right. Welcome back, Dana. Thank you. Nice to see you once again. Did anybody lose this disc? 
the, the stage is coming apart. See where that belongs. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. All, All right, right, here we go. This Maybe is it holds my name on. That's don't it. Yeah. it away so Probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, refresh our memories about Dana Manning. I remember she's from uh, Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. New York. Right. I'm a flight attendant. Yeah. I'm also a professional dog groomer. And a dog going... groomer. Yes. That's very difficult. Yes. You do very Bichons. Oh, uh, sure I do. Yes. Yeah. Do yeah. you have one? I have two of them, and right. they have to be groomed quite often because their hair grows uh -huh. very long. Yeah. So I of just course. cut them short. They're embarrassed about that, but I said, the heck with that. I'm going to stand there and brush those dogs every day. Then. Okay. And uh, what are you doing in California? Um, doing this show. This show? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You may have A or B, Dana. I'll take A. A it is. We start this second and final game, and here it is. Stella said, my husband is so nearsighted. This morning when it was time to go to work, he got into the blank and tried to drive away. <laughs> My husband is so nearsighted. This morning when it was time to go to work, he got into the blank and tried to drive away. Who keeps playing that music? What it's music? Uh, it's getting louder. Can I write a new song? Now, Stanley yeah. Claw. Chuck Mangione. Okay. <laughs> Stella said, My husband is so nearsighted. This morning when it was time to go to work, he got into the blank and tried to drive away. The only thing I can think of is refrigerator. Refrigerator. Something mechanical. I guess anything mechanical will be all right here. We had somebody else that shuffled off back to Buffalo this week, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, that's the same one. Oh, she's the same one? She's hanging Boy, around. <laughs> slow boat. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, shower or bathtub. Shower or bathtub. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I said, you know those little things that have the windows on them? I said dryer. Dryer. All right. Well, you can't win. That gets a big, that. big reaction. <laughs> yeah. I said, and you know the stripes here look good that way just as well as they do the other way. You know what? You know what I mean. These people don't know what we're talking about because they don't observe, they don't see, they don't know anything. Mm -hmm. Mailbox that looks like a compact car, which also stinks, as an answer. True. I agree with you most wholeheartedly. About the stripes? No. <laughs> about your answer stinking. Well. Sorry, I'm by Katie. Mm -hmm. caught up. It had nothing to do with the wheels Not on the right. chair. No. Here we go. <laughs> Connie, husband's so nearsighted, time to get away, got into the blank, tried to drive away. I said he went into the toilet. <laughs> First place you go. All right. <laughs> now we come to Brent Braverman. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dana, I hope as a, as a flight attendant you initiate many people into the Mile High Club, and I said bathtub. And I bathtub it is. Refrigerator is what I she tried. I, I, yes. I would have said it, but I couldn't. So I just... Oh, I know. I'm I, so. I said shower or bath. Shower or bath. Maybe that's what you do. I mean, no refrigerators at all there. All right. Now you stand by oh, for your first you. round question while we do a little room. business with America. <laughs> all right. You're gonna the other get round one question is for Philip Hord. And if you're all set, here it is. Yes. The Nerdo Crumbesian <laughs> government what? is so weird, instead of collecting taxes, all they collect is blank. Gotcha. <laughs> Philip, the Nerdo Crumbesian government is so weird, instead of collecting taxes, all they collect is blank. Dust. Dust. Dust collector. What is that? All right. Dust. Dust? I like that. That's Philip Horn bad. has been right on the ball there. He's not okay. Bad. Excellent. I said garbage. Garbage. That's not. Yes. That's not, that's not the right answer, is no, it? No, dust is the oh. answer. Well, he matches me. Garbage. All right. Bing. Bing bong. Yep. The whole top floor. Garbage. That's garbage. Whole top floor is loaded is with garbage. What do we got down here on the bottom floor? We're Connie? The near to crum crummy place. More letters in the alphabet. All they collect is more letters in the alphabet. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so bad about my answer. You sure? I mean, this is not Hollywood Squares, you know. <laughs> this is a near answer. Yeah. It's the same idea and a different color, actually. I said mold. All they collect is mold. Thank yeah, you, Ira. Yeah, don't have to say anything about me, huh? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I said bodies. All they collect is bodies. That's well, they didn't pay us. I guess no one really understood this. Well, all what right. are you... <laughs> Let's go to round two. I finally got you back for all those cards you threw at me. I landed in my... Dana went first last time, so, Philip, you'll go first this time a. since the score is tied. You want A. Yeah. A is what you get. Now, here it is. <laughs> Aladdin said... Yes? Yeah. You all knew who she was. <laughs> no, Aladdin said... My lamp is really acting strange. After I rubbed it, the genie came out and blanked me. <laughs> Blank me? Blank me. I'm waiting for two people over there. <laughs> Here we go, Philip. Aladdin said, my lamp is really acting strange. 
After I rubbed it, the genie came out and blanked me. And rubbed me. <laughs> Philip? I think you've been alone on that fishing boat too long. <laughs> what do you say, Jimbo? This is an answer I had earlier this week, and I have returned with it because I felt that it was a good answer then, and I still feel that's a good answer, so I'm going to continue until somebody finally picks this answer, which is goosed of me. Yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> it's a cute answer, Philip. Too bad we don't have it over here. I said belted, struck, or smacked. Belted, struck, or smacked. Aladdin, the I lady with the hit lamp. Me. Hit me. All right. Did that thought cross your mind? Whoops. There, sorry. I'm He's too gentle and sweet. That was my second choice. That was your second choice. <coughs> you did think of it. Connie. Yes, well, uh, after I rubbed violent. it, the genie came out and blanked me. Violent today. Kicked me. Kicked me. Oh. We have hitting and kicking here, but no rubbing this, so far. This is a circumstance. If you're right, I'm wrong. You're fired. Uh, this is punched. I put punched. Punched. Me. Punched me, huh? There's a violent group over here, Philip. Yes. Just Except for me. Judges, now, I really do want you to bear with me. Think of his answer when I do say mine, because one does not go without the other, okay? Hopefully. Made love to. <laughs> no. I don't know where you've been, Ira. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, listen, Dana... She does all what the other five said. What am I supposed to know? You're in the uh, catbird seat, as the saying goes, because all you have to do is match one to win the game. Let's see if it happens. Flat-chested Flo said, I hate being so flat-chested. I went for a jog this morning, and when I came home, my brow was around my blank. That's redundant. You don't need the second. You don't need the first one. You're absolutely right, child. You don't need it. Fred answered first on this question. Did you notice? Yes, I did. <laughs> she doesn't do much jogging, though. She dances. Yeah. All right, Dana. Flat-chested Flo said, I hate being so flat-chested. I went for a jog this morning, and when I came home, my brow was around my blank. Waist. Waist. All right. One waist will win the game for you. Jimmy? Toes or ankles? Toes and ankles. Yeah. Wait. Well, it's amazing I came up with this answer. I've been around Fanny so long, but I said ankles. 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 Are we going to end up in a tie here? I also run very hard. Ankles. Well, does this mean I get to join the club? Wait. That wins the game. Ankles. I won. Come on down. Come on Only one person had waste there, right there in the blue uh, spot, if you would, please. Philip Lahort, it was a pleasure to meet oh, you, sir. Oh, it's been a pleasure to be here, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. You're a splendid fellow. How much Thank money? You. You you it. It. I'm not finished talking to you yet. Don't turn it. Stop the machine. I've got to talk. Philip, come back. Shane! Shane, come back! I'm the only one who remembers. Thank you very much. Oh, I guess we've got to stop for a commercial now. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll turn it around during the call. Here's a little commercial for you. Hello. If you'd like to come to the studio out here in Hollywood and see Matt's game in person, write to us. We'd love to meet you. And close the self address stamped envelope and mail your tickets. Max Game, CBS Television City, 7800 Beverly Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90036. We are ready. All right, you're a beautiful bunch. I just waved to Dana's mother out there, who's having a birthday today. Happy birthday Happy to birthday. you. Happy birthday. Happy yes. birthday. No, you can't sing it. Uh, all right. Who's singing? Dana, uh, you're going to have a go with a really big dough here now. Let's uh, pay attention to it now. You could win over $10,000. Mm -hmm. We polled a studio audience not too long ago, a very smart bunch like these, and we said, write down your best answer to this. Duty blank. Mm. <laughs> you give us the answer that they did indeed write down most frequently. We'll give you $500 for matching their second most popular response, $250. And then if you match a third, you get $100. Now, as you look at the stars, call on the ones who have a glimmer of intelligence in their eyes. <laughs> the ones who are avoiding your gaze don't have an answer, you see. Bart? Duty call. Duty call. That's what duty do. Duty right. call. Right. Brett? Didn't she, have the she has the prettiest blue eyes I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah. 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 You should see them in person. They're gorgeous. What about duty? Duty! Free! Duty free. Duty free. Duty free. Duty free. You haven't traveled blog. much, have you? Don't Duty free is very important. That was mine. Was One more. Charles? Duty tax. 
duty there tax. There is no such thing as duty tax. When you make a duty that in certain duty. countries, you have to pay a tax. <laughs> we don't do duty on this show. Show your pants again. You just did it. It came on the board. <laughs> All right, so you have duty-free, duty, free, duty, duty tax. tax, and duty calls. You can choose one of those, or perhaps you have a better idea in your own mind. Duty free. Duty free. Oh. Best answer. Oh. <laughs> now, if you're groaning so much, what do you think is a better answer than calls? All right. Oh, what do they know, Don? Well, they I don't, don't know. know. They may know something we don't know. Yeah. Let's find out if duty calls is up there. Or duty Spoiled free is the one she wants. May we see the one hundred dollar response? Duty bound. Ooh. That's good. All right, let's take a look at the next one, please. Duty free. Oh, yeah, Dan. Yeah, 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 you know, you may be right. I don't want to rub it in now. Yeah, you think so? God knows. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you're probably right. May we see the big one, please? Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now you've got $250. means the least you'll play for is 10 times that amount, or $2,500. But you can double it to $5,000 if you get a lucky spin of the star wheel. Step up there and have a go at it. In the meantime, we'll all root for a double. Go, Dana. Hit that wheel. Let's get it. Be yeah, get yeah, up, go up. Give it a little push. Almost. Almost. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> All right, down there on the blue dot, if you would, please. Here we go for $2,500. Good luck to you. Are you ready, Connie? Mm -hmm. All right. Should I write? You, I write you have to face me, because if you face her, then you can see what she writes, you see. Then we don't have a game. That would be almost like cheating. That's the idea. Right, almost. <laughs> Here it is. Cowboy blank. Cowboy blank. In the slot. All right, now you give us the answer she has. We give it $2,500. Boots. Boots. Hey. You're not really sure of that, are you? Well, yes, yeah, some say yes, some say no. She said cowboy boots for $2,500. What do you say? Boots. 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 I mention your name and your show, and all those guys start screaming. Mention that. It's so rude. Right. Mention uh, <laughs> Deborah Lee Scott. No. Okay. Thank you. Gene Rayburn. <laughs> I'm still ahead. I never go to porno <laughs> movies. Charles? I How never go to porno movies. Why movie? don't you ever go to porno movies? Because it's not good to see someone have more fun in an hour and a half than you've had in a lifetime. <laughs> Now, this is Dear Friendly Philosopher, and that's our thought for the day. Gene Rayburn, join us next time for the match game. Goodbye. Today's consolation prizes are from Kinney, a great selection of great American shoe styles. Kinney's got the look you want, America. That's why Kinney's a great American shoe store. And a 22 piece master mechanic multi drive socket set from two value hardware stores to provide value and personal service in over 5,000 locations nationwide. And pilot fans, the razor point with the extra fine point in the fine line that'll even right through carbon. More than just something to write with. And a Betty Crocker cookbook can make someone happy with Betty Crocker Frosty Mix. Perfect every time, always smooth, creamy, delicious. Betty Crocker Frosty Mix, perfect every time. And a serve that is bright, cleans and shines, no wax floors, one easy step without wax. For a beautiful dynamite, no wax shine, nothing shines brighter than bright. And from Blue Lux to home care products, Blue Lux to dry, the new upholstery cleaner for velvets and other delicate furniture fibers. And a toolkit. And when you've got anything that sticks or sweets, reach for WD-40. Makes things work smoother, last longer. Do it with WD-40. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Program was edited and production.